Hey guys, what's going on? Got a, uh, another episode of Life Behind the Lens with Christopher Paul. That's me, your wedding photographer and videographer. I can't even speak properly, what's wrong with me? And it's live, so I can't go back. It is episode number 10 of Behind the Lens with me, Christopher Paul. And I am your South Wales wedding photographer and videographer. And um, my computer's just crashed and we're live. So I'm literally scrambling around trying to get this train back on the tracks. And it might be a little bit loud, but yeah, let's jump into it. So, what have I been up to behind the lens? I have, as well, like I say, every episode been banging on about my fitness. Um, I'm almost there with like uh, booking the Ironman that I'm going to do for next year. Um, that is, for, and I've got to stop saying um too. But the Ironman that I'm going to do for next year is going to be for a mental health charity, which is yet to be decided. There's one or two. I'm talking to by the way if I work with loads of loads of my clients are like nurses and people who work in the NHS mental health and stuff so if any of you guys know a charity that's good maybe like a, a mental health charity that's doesn't get as much attention but you know like one of the sort of not one of the main ones then that would be great. I don't know what happened then. Um, here we go. I'm on next year. So I'm in the pool doing my two-kilometer swims. Love it. Everyone, if you're trying to get back into fitness and you've got some niggly injuries or something's going wrong, go to Cardiff Pool. They're running an offer on at the moment. I think you can try it out and you can refer a friend as well. It works out really, really... It works out to be like hardly anything at all. Get in the pool, get moving, get swimming. Keeps you fit, helps you beat all those like... You know, like when you feel gross and feel down and stuff in the winter... It's horrible. So get in the pool, get swimming. It's good for you. Less impact on your joints. I love it. I couldn't imagine my life without swimming. I'm basically a fish or a merman or a mermaid. Who cares? Anyway, what am I going to talk about this week? <laughs> um, da -da -da. So yeah, figuring out the Ironman stuff, that'll be hopefully sorted. I'm going to have some cool little teaser videos and stuff for the challenge I'm giving myself next week. So key, stay, uh, stick around and check that out when I post the, that up. But what else we got going on? So last week I talked to you a little bit about the wedding that we had coming up. That was with Poppy and Dave at Torstock Court. And it was an absolute belter of a wedding. So I want to say a massive thank you again to Torstock Court. They were amazing. Laura and her team who live, well, I think some people live there. Um, really, really cool old house that's been around for ages it's like steeped in history and stuff but uh laura who is like the organizer owner person the boss the guy person in charge she basically was amazing and looked after everyone everyone sang her praises i got some photos now i'm just gonna effortlessly segue in this is uh dave and pop from their engagement shoot in dartmoor um i always talk which is obviously in england um not too far away from Exeter but uh yeah I always talk about how lucky we are in Wales but um it'd be nice to do some more engagement shoots uh down that way and if anyone's got any uh cool places that they know of in the Bristol area I'm I want to find some more woods in the Bristol area so I've got a couple of places in mind but you know why not just ask the hive mind that is Facebook because you might know some awesome locations as well but yeah um this was one of my favorite uh this is one of my favorite non-Welsh engagement shoots. Like, Dartmoor is just epic. And here's another one. But yeah, Torstock Court. Look at that, it's beautiful. The sun held out as well. I was, well, we were worried about the weather, but uh, the sun came out in its force. The weather was awesome. And the best thing about Torstock Court is it's just amazing real big windows all over the place high ceilings lots of space lots of natural light it's a photographer's dream and uh, the grounds were amazing too that's the front look these are just some teaser photos that i have on the uh like you've probably seen on some of the other posts or some of the other blogs but the on i do an on the day edit like if i get time which is most of the time uh, so when everyone like stops to eat some food and stuff i like literally it's pretty hard work and it's like fast and you have to be really fast and stuff but 
I blast through and get a couple of images so that you could share them with people that might not have been able to make it on the day. Like if some, you know, people from far away or if someone's ill, um, that kind of thing. I just think it's nice to share some pictures, but yeah, these are from those on the day teaser edits. There's Poppy, whose dress was out of this world. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk a bit more about that after, but a little confetti shot. So, you know, not too much going on apart from those pictures right now because I literally only just shot that last weekend and I'm still wrapping up bits and pieces. So it might be a little while before that one's edited up. But, um, yeah, like just trying to keep fit, basically. I uh, went and bought a new shirt today. Went to town, bought a new shirt. And happy to say... I can now fit into a slim, a, a slim fit shirt, so pretty chuffed about that. Um, yeah, so it's all taking along really. Um, about to shoot off in a minute and play football. Going to start. Well, I've started playing football for the last couple of months. Um, but yeah, I think this is like the time of year where everyone's wrapping up weddings and um, you know winter's coming in. Like I do a lot of family portraits. If you if you're interested in that family portrait stuff, you can check it out on the Facebook. There'll be some links in on the Facebook page that you're watching this on, or you can just face search Facebook or Google for Christopher Paul Portrait Photography. So, got a couple of uh, families and cool people to photograph for the that. And yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, one other thing I want to talk about before I go super quick one was um that i offer photography and videography together i don't really talk about it much and you know i keep i i've, I've had a few questions about it um that i thought i should probably just like maybe make a little post about it so i'm in the process of putting a little post together and stuff but yeah i offer photography and videography together and when i do offer those packages together um, especially if it's a cinema package, there's two packages I offer, the indie and the cinema. And for the majority of both of those packages, I have someone with me. And uh, that's not like a random, uh, I'll be either Becky or two other people that I use. So I don't just hire strangers in, they're people I've known for over 15 years. And I've worked with really well, you know, a lot on a lot of different projects, but I know how expensive weddings can be, so I used to shoot videography as its own thing and work along other photographers. And I, and I've also, and I've always, sorry, been a wedding photographer as well. So it's kind of weird. Like I've done, I've been a videographer working alongside other photographers, and I've been a photographer working alongside other videographers. And I never wanted to sort of jump in and just try and not know if I could uh, do both. But after doing them singularly for a couple of years, um, I think I had a friend's wedding and I hired, I got some extra help in for it and stuff and worked out a few kinks, as in before before the day, obviously, and realized that it was pretty cool, actually. So because uh, the team knows each other, we can like effortlessly, you know, move in and out and like not get in each other's way. There's no problems, there's no drama. And the best thing about it as well is that it keeps the cost down for you guys because if you think about it, you know, from a business point of view, but like photographers and videographers, we've all got to have insurance. It's an expensive thing to do. Got to have a kit, backup kit, stuff like that. So if you go with one person for both, then you can save money. Now, obviously, there's, we get hired by people sometimes who want us for photography and they want other videographers because they like my photography, but they prefer someone else's videography, and that's totally cool. So it's more of a it's more of an option for you guys. Um, I was gonna just sort of like jump into it a little bit and maybe show a few of the uh, videos. But when you do a live video on your own, it might be an idea. Note to self to get someone else to do the computer stuff because now. Because because now I'm like um, talking to you guys live and doing stuff, and it's not easy, and it's not ready either because my computer crashed before, and I've got to do this now so that I can go to football. I was top goal scorer last week. Pretty chuffed by that. So 
If you get married, maybe you'll be doing this too. Type in ChristopherPaulWeddings.com. Boosh. Hit that enter button. And off, off we go. And we go back over here. And yeah, check out the videography. If you just go on the website, ChristopherPaulWeddings.com. Check out the, the button, videography. I've got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of information on there. Pretty much kind of what I just talked about, but a bit more. And um, yeah, you can check it out. Like this was one of my favorite ones. They're all fave. They're all my favorite. You know what I'm saying? But you can't really hear the sound on it either because the cable that connects that to this for these live things don't work. But go and check it out. So yeah, I don't know if anyone else was in town today. Um, but Christmas seems to be coming really, really early, like every, like earlier every year. I know that sounds like a cliche, but I was in town earlier. It was just Christmas everywhere, and I couldn't park. I couldn't park in John Lewis for, like, for love nor money. And I was like, this is weird. It's the middle of Thursday. It's like 1 p.m. in the middle of the day on Thursday. So what's going on? Maybe there's an event on. If you guys know um, of any cool, like, Christmas stuff, Christmas events and things like that coming up. I've got a couple of events um, from friends of mine that I'm going to uh, sort of plug and shout about in the next week or so. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to think before I sign off if there's anything else. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I could go on and on and on about like why videography and photography is like why I like to shoot them both together because it's pretty cool to have both things going on and it's like effortless and stress-free and stuff but um pretty much already said it and if you're interested in hiring a photographer and a videographer I highly like as in if you if you want photography and videography and you want to hire the same person I'd highly recommend that whether that's me or someone else I'm just saying in general it's probably going to save you guys a lot of money and it's going to be um, a lot less stressful and simpler. Not that it would be stressful the other way, but it'd just be simpler. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, keep posted. Um, watch out for that weather because the weather's just nuts at the moment. I always get a bit concerned about the weather this time of year with flooding and things like that, especially you guys up in the valleys or whatever. So look after each other. And... Yeah, wish me luck. I'm off to football. Will I be top goal scorer again? Probably not. Right, in a bit. <laughs>